Tool Time on location. I am Tim the Tool Man Taylor. You all know my assistant, Al LaCarte Borland. <laughs> We're here on location to introduce to you another one of our unsung heroes of the job site. That's right. Heidi, my unsung heroes, theme music, please. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi. Nice to nice work, please. There you go, Tim. He gets a bank stand that ain't right. He's the unsung hero of the job site. All right, now, today we're going to meet the man who drives his great-looking lunch wagon. Hi there. This is Nick Canlupo, the man, the melon. Thanks, Tim. Uh, you know, your food service vehicle doesn't get much respect in the culinary community. People call it the roach coach, the barf bus, the upchuck wagon, the vomit van. Oh, heck really wet my appetite. Good, because today we're serving up some really savory selections. Chili and onions, chili cheese dogs, three cheese chili omelet. I think I've died and gone to heaven. I know what killed you. <laughs> well, why don't you show us inside the truck there? Glad to, Al. Boy, Nick, this place is immaculate. Thank you, Tim. I take great pride in my sanitary skills. Over here, we have your heated service trays. Now, this looks to be some type of a cooling unit. Yes, Al, in our business, we refer to it as a refrigerator. <laughs> and over here, this is Rosie, the fastest short order cook in the business. Hi, Rosie. Tim, you tell her whatever you want, and you'll be eating it before you're done ordering it. Three stacks of pancakes, eggs over medium, home fries, smothered in chili. <laughs> Boy, that was good. <laughs> Pretty fast, huh? Hey! Wow, she's speedy with a spatula. <laughs> well, I don't want to brag, but I think I'm speedier. Is he for real? It's a question I often ask myself. <laughs> hey, I work my way through college as a short order cook. You get pretty speedy after eight and a half years. <laughs> Rosie, may I? Some more butter on there. All right. eggshells, because basically it's roughage. Place it up a little bit. I like a little of this just... Oh. There you go. Now what? I learned this little trick my senior year. Get some plates up. I'm all ready to go. There you go. Oh. I'll tell you what, Nick. You hold the plate. Look at that. <laughs> Clean it up there as speedy as I remember. What do you think, Nick? Even though your college would have helped my accuracy a little bit. <laughs> you know, you have your choice of toast, Nick. show today at that uh, catering truck. Thanks yeah. very much. Some of you are funny as stuff, Tim. <laughs> yeah. What about me? You were in it too? <laughs> yes, but, but if it pleases you, I can be edited out. Oh, relax, Borland. I'm just giving you a hard time. Where's your sense of humor? In a little town called Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go someplace where I get a little bit more respect. Where's that, Al? A little town called Anywhere But Here. <laughs> Uh, Tim, you're a big Piston fan, right? Oh, yeah, one of the all-time great auto parts. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm talking about the basketball team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How would you like a couple of season tickets? You're going to give me season tickets? 
Yes, I am. Right after you pay me for them. <laughs> yeah, you see this guy I know is selling me his courtside seat, so I thought I'd give my favorite two man first crack at my old ones. <sighs> Boy, season tickets. Yeah, that is just Yeah, yeah. Fifth row, center court. Oof. I mean, these seats are so good you can high five with the team mascot. What? Yeah. So it's slam a lot? That's right. <laughs> Oh, this is a dream, man. This is really a dream. Uh, season tickets. I'm, yeah. I better call Joe. Oh, oh, no, 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 no time for that. No. See, a VP at General Motors also wants him, and I'm meeting him for lunch at about oh, 2 o'clock. Uh, well, what time is it now? 1.59. <laughs> Let me sleep on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tickets. Not only piston tickets, season tickets, and they're all mine, 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 mine. <laughs> you know, Dad, I was just thinking that you and I really don't get to spend enough quality time together. I bet you figure we could bond nicely at the Bulls Piston game. I want to bond at the Orlando game. No, no. I gave that ticket to Nick Cantalupo. Who's he? Very angry man. Is Mom home? Nope. She's with Mark getting him new glasses. I oh. can't believe she let you buy these season tickets. What do you mean, let me? You didn't tell Mom? No. I knew it was too good to be true. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. There's nothing to worry about. Let me explain how this marriage works. Your mom and I don't need to talk over every decision, you know. Why can't I get contact lenses? I didn't say that you couldn't. I said that we have to check with your father first. <laughs> That's how our marriage works. We don't make decisions without checking with each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless the decision had to be made in under a minute, you know, because if the both partners agree on principle that they're, you know, autonomous decisions are not a bad thing between, you know, it's not unusual for a partner to make a decision without the, you know, you, it, is, it does happen in a marriage that you can make those, it, it, it does, you can, you, <clears throat> Boys, will you excuse us for a moment, please? Good luck, Dad. Think bonding. Okay, Tim. What did you buy and how little do we need it? So big deal. Bud offered me some Pistons tickets, so I bought them. <laughs> how much were they? $50 a piece. Well, that's not so bad. No, it's not. Here we go. <laughs> how many games? Oh. What? All of them. <laughs> How many games is that? Well, more than none in uh, less than 41. 40 games? At $50 a piece? That's, that's like $2,000. Per seat. Per seat? <laughs> How many seats did you buy? One. And the one next to it. <laughs> Two seats? That's... Unless they get in the playoffs, because for some reason, playoff tickets are more money than regular seats. More? That is ridiculous. I I'm going to send them a letter. And send it from a new address. <laughs> Let's not even worry about the playoffs. It's too far away, and I don't... They'll never make it. What am I talking about? They're a lousy team this year. You spent $4,000 on a lousy team? <laughs> Let me explain something to you about basketball. You cannot get season tickets like this with a good team. You got to ride out the bad years hoping for a good one. That's what you said 17 years ago when I married you, and I'm still waiting for a good one. <laughs> I can't believe that you made a decision like this without discussing it with me first. Well, Bud needed an answer right away, and, and you, you buy a lot of stuff without asking me. Like what? This couch? How can you compare the two? I bought the couch because we need a place to sit. That's why I bought the tickets. I want to go to the game. I need a place to sit. This money is supposed to be for education. For, for, for my graduate school, the kids' college fund. I'm not going to dip in the college fund. We'll, we'll, we'll get the money someplace else. Where? Well, you know, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't mind giving up that vacation we had planned. Oh, that's big of you. You didn't care about going to New York anyway. We don't have to now, because the New York Knicks are coming to town. <laughs> and the Washington Bulls, the Boston Celtics, the entire Eastern Seaboard will be right here in the Motor City. <laughs> so 
Don't look at me like that. Then put the money back in the bank account. Did I explain that from where these seats are, you can actually reach out and touch the, the, the mascot, Sir uh, Slam a lot? <laughs> What a surprise, Benny's still here. Yeah. So, did you take your mother-in-law to get her bunions removed? Yeah, but I'd rather kept the bunions and had my mother-in-law removed. Hey, Harry, you hear Tim picked up season tickets to the Pistons? I just hope it doesn't go to his head. A guy gets season tickets, could affect his whole demeanor. No, Tim isn't like that. Yeah, besides, well, people only change if you treat them different. We're not going to do that. Hey, guys. Hey, 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 hey,
Because every time one of us gets beaten down by the look, a little piece of every man dies. I think we all know what that piece is. That contact lens has to be around here somewhere. Way to go, Mark. The contact has spent more time on the floor than it has in your eyes. Everybody home? Hey, hey guys. Dad. Hey, Dad. Well, I don't care what you're playing, but I'm in. It's called looking for Mark's contact. How do you play? You look for Mark's contact. Okay, whose turn? Okay, Dad, it's yours. Okay, one, two, three, go! <laughs> If you're gonna cheat. So, Dad, what's happening with the basketball tickets? Yeah, have you caved in yet? I'm not giving up the tickets. Because if I do, a little piece of every man dies. Which piece? You just never mind. Tim, we need to talk. Boys? We know, we know. Okay. I was thinking about this thing with the tickets, and maybe I was a little unfair. Really? I know how important they are to you, so I think I've come up with a really good compromise. How about you keep the tickets for five games, and you sell off the rest? Five out of four? Do you call that a compromise? That's $500. I think that's fair. Maybe you don't understand the concept here, honey. These are season tickets, not whenever your wife wants you to go tickets. So what are you saying? You're not willing to budge at all? If I give up my season tickets because of my wife, other wives are going to pick up on this. Pretty soon, wives everywhere are going, You know, the tool man gave up his season tickets. You should, too. <laughs> Attendance starts dropping to stadiums. Next thing we know, it's into professional sports worldwide. You are just completely unwilling to compromise. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know the meaning of the word compromise. You don't know the meaning to a lot of words. <laughs> don't you forget it. <laughs> hey, Wilson. Well, mighty ho, neighbor. What are you doing? I'm barbecuing some jerk. <laughs> Anybody I know? Actually, jerk is a very spicy dish native to the island of Jamaica. You know, I'm thinking of going down there and doing a little bamboo rafting. Well, you got it made. Unattached guy like you. You don't need permission to go to 40 Pistons games. Uh oh. <laughs> I take it Joe was not too thrilled with your recent purchase. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. First, she gave me the look. The look. You know about the look? Oh, Tim, every man knows about the look. <laughs> Wives have been giving their husbands the look for untold centuries. As a matter of fact, the look was the reason the bride started wearing veils. It was long believed that the penetrating stare of the bride could weaken her husband and render him impotent. I thought that was caused by all the brown liquor at the reception. <laughs> well, that could do it too, Tim. I gotta be honest with you. Hmm? Joe's look did weaken me. It did. But I didn't break. Uh -huh. <laughs> then she brought out the sneakiest, most underhanded trick in the book. What was that? Compromising. <laughs> ah! The old ploy where both sides decide to be reasonable. Reasonable? Five games out of 40, that's reasonable? I don't think that's So what was your counter offer? I don't think that applies here. Because really? you didn't make one. No, I did not. You know, Tim, I'm reminded of an old philosopher who once said, you have to give a little, take a little, let your poor heart break a little. <laughs> that's, that's the story of That's the story of love. All right, Nick, you got Atlanta on the 2nd. Got it. I want Seattle on the 15th of November. 
All right, Al, you got it, buddy. Okay, but I want the bulls on January 21st. January 21st is our anniversary. Well, guess where we're going. <laughs> Over my dead body. Well, at least for once, it'll be nice and quiet in the car. <laughs> Dolores, I'll take the bulls. I'll go with you. If you got the bulls, I'm taking Houston. I'll go with you. I want Phoenix. I'll go with you. I don't even know you. Who really knows anybody? Well, hi, everyone. Hi, honey. Hey, um, watch the board for a minute. Sure. What's going on? Um, I had decided to compromise. You did? You got to give a little, take a little. And... <laughs> want me to sing it? Not really. <laughs> but I would like to hear some more about this compromise. Okay. I want all 40, you want a five. What do you say we settle on 15? 15 still a lot of money. Let's settle on 10. How about eight? 10. How about none? Eight's good. <laughs> Tim, can we see you for a second here? Yeah. Well, Harry's got an interesting point. What if by some chance the Pistons get into the playoffs, how do we divvy up those tickets? Well, the playoffs are going to cost more money anyway, right? Yeah. I already got my eight tickets. You guys fight over them. You're giving up playoff tickets? Yes, Marty, because I know the glory of love. <laughs> Want me to sing it? <laughs> no, thank you. If the Pistons make the playoffs, can I buy some games? What do you want with playoff games, honey? I'm going to take my husband. Hey, hey, your husband's a very lucky man. How come you never say anything nice like that to me? Your husband isn't as lucky. I want the Knicks on February 21st. Oh, I hate the Knicks. I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dolores. That's one of my eight. I'm from New York, and I want the Knicks. Well, totally D. I'm from Detroit, and I like the Knicks. I bought them, and I was selling them. Oh, really? <laughs> she is good. Really good. Yeah. I'm telling you, no. Look out, guys. Here it comes.